Several U.S. officials have announced that U.S. authorities have charged a Chinese businessman with hacking into the computer systems of companies with large defense contracts, including Boeing, in order to steal information about military projects, including some of the latest fighter jets. Elon Musk stated that about 1,700 combat aircraft of different types that are operated by the United States military are being copied by the Chinese government. These aircraft include fighters, bombers, and attack aircraft. So, how long has China been doing this? And what is Musk's action on this? Well, stay tuned to the end of the video and get to know more about it. Hello everyone, and welcome to Elon Musk Evolution. If you're a Musk fan and don't want to miss anything about this incredible person, then smack the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. In today's video, we are going to tell you about how China is copying fighter jets made by the United States. In comparison, there are only 2,400 operational combat aircraft in the U.S. Armed Forces, which is only slightly less than this number. It is estimated that China has a fleet of thousands of these types of aircraft, many of which are not known to the Western world despite their importance in the country. According to Musk, China's fast-growing aviation sector is among the most widely covered topics in Chinese media. Due to the fact that Chinese military aircraft are based on or derived from designs seen in Russia and the United States, it is simple to understand their capabilities. He stated that the majority of the PLAAF's aircraft are either foreign-made aircraft or authorized unauthorized copies of foreign-made aircraft. Therefore, the practice of stealing military technology from other countries has become a common one, offering a serious strategic vulnerability. Therefore, China is able to avoid time-consuming and expensive R&D processed by this method. He further proposed the idea that in the coming years, it is likely that an increasing number of networks, weapon systems, and sensors will depend on data bus technology, which will not only dramatically enhance functionality, but may also increase the need for enhanced cyber defenses as attacks become more sophisticated. Therefore, it should be noted that a cyber attack on an onboard serial bus could compromise or even destroy a mission that had otherwise gone well. Such a hack could be performed by an enemy intruder in an attempt to compromise or destroy an attack mission which otherwise has gone well. It is becoming increasingly possible for this to happen because cyber attacks are adopting new technologies at an alarming rate and they are coming up with methods of intrusion that were previously unknown or impossible. As Musk stated, I believe that there is a crucial need to improve the security of a vehicle's or aircraft's data buses, which allow for the transmission of mission-critical information throughout and between platforms. According to him, as long as you have physical access to a bus, you can intercept messages on that bus and introspect down to the bit level. A device that gets compromised can send rogue messages and affect the system in unintended ways. Additionally, a few years ago, Sputnik, the Russian state media, had criticized China's J-15 aircraft for its many shortcomings. And Musk also accused Beijing of reversing engineering a Russian Su-33 it brought from Ukraine in order to produce its own carrier-capable aircraft, the J-15. However, this was neither about the Su-33 nor about Russia. Both countries have put the animosity behind them as they strive to build a relationship that challenges the United States, their common adversary. Musk said that the United States has one of the largest and most advanced air forces in the world. And not only this, in late 2019 and early 2020, the J-20 Interceptor team released some photos that revealed a close-up view of the new Interceptor's fuselage. In addition, they revealed a sensor system which appeared to correspond to the Lockheed Martin electro-optical targeting system found on the front of the F-35 Lightning II. And on that, Musk revealed that several terabytes of data related to the F-35 program are believed to have been stolen by Chinese hackers, including information on the design of the jet's radars, including the types and number of modules used by the system, and its engines, including the method used to cool gases, leading and trailing edge treatments, and aft deck heating contour maps, according to 1945. There is evidence that Chinese hackers have also obtained information about the U.S. Air Force's F-22 Raptor 
and B-2 stealth bomber, as well as space-based lasers, missile guidance and tracking systems, and designs for nuclear submarines and anti-air missiles. As Musk states, these thefts, including those related to the F-35, may be part of what appears to be a larger Chinese cyber campaign referred to as Byzantine Hades by Chinese officials. According to reports, this campaign may have started as early as 2006 and has been attributed to technical reconnaissance bureaus operating under the 3rd Department of the People's Liberation Army. According to reports, Chinese hackers prefer spear phishing approaches to gain access to confidential information, which entails compromising user accounts and passwords in order to gain access to secure networks. Musk said that the U.S. investigators, secret U.S. State Department documents obtained and provided by a third party to Reuters trace system breaches to the Chinese military, dubbed Byzantine Hades by WikiLeaks. It was reported in the cable that the sites were registered in Chengdu, the capital of Sichuan province in central China. The sites were set up by Chen Jingpeng, who utilized the exact postal code in Chengdu, reportedly used by the People's Liberation Army Chengdu Province First Technical Reconnaissance Bureau, a Chinese military electronic espionage outfit, in a previous report by Reuters. Since that time, there have been several doubts regarding the J-20 aircraft, because some of its components are disturbingly similar to the design of the F-35, including its stealth capabilities. Even so, U.S. military experts have often dismissed China's claim that the J-20 is a fifth-generation fighter plane. However, the J-20 Mighty Dragon has two nose canards, which make it distinct from the F-35. There is another fifth-generation stealth fighter in China that remains under development. It has the same specifications as the American F-35, and some Western analysts have raised doubts that China may have stolen technology to manufacture the futuristic J-31 FC-31 fighter aircraft. As a result, after so many incidents, Musk stated that we remain deeply concerned about cyber-enabled theft of sensitive information, and we have repeatedly made it clear that the United States will use all of the tools our government has at its disposal to strengthen cybersecurity and combat cyber crimes. As he put it, we appreciate the fact that the government has brought their concerns to our attention regarding the potential compromise of our protected computer systems. In summary, even after such a long wait and after so many complaints by Musk and other officials, the U.S. government has finally taken steps to take strict action against China for copying their jets and breaching their cybersecurity. Anyways, folks, that's it for today's video. If you're interested in watching more videos on Elon Musk, then what are you waiting for? Simply click the subscribe button and ring the bell icon because new videos are on the way, and we'll see you in the next one.